Since ancient times, honey has been valued both for its sweetness and its nutritional and medicinal properties. But have you ever stopped to think about how a simple drop of honey travels a long way to reach your table? This journey begins long before what you imagine. The honey production process starts with the activity of honeybees in collecting nectar. These insects visit hundreds of flowers, extracting a sugar-rich substance that they store in their honey stomach. A worker bee can collect a large amount of nectar per trip with an operating radius of five kilometers from the hive. To communicate the location of the flowers, they perform a figure eight dance, moving in patterns that indicate direction and distance relative to the sun. During the return journey, enzymes such as invertase transform sucrose into glucose and fructose, initiating the conversion of nectar into honey. This process reduces the nectar's pH from 7.5 to 3.9, creating an environment hostile to bacteria and fungi. Once in the hive, the bees deposit the nectar into wax cells and generate air currents with their wings, evaporating the excess water until the humidity drops below 18%, ensuring its preservation. Honey collection in modern apiculture is carried out in hives designed to facilitate extraction without affecting the colony's integrity. At the end of the 19th century, the invention of the movable comb revolutionized the sector by allowing beekeepers to remove honey-filled frames without destroying the internal structure of the hive. In the 1920s, manual centrifuges were replaced by electric models capable of handling 50 frames, increasing efficiency from 8 to 200 kilograms per hour. Today, automated vacuum systems recover 99.9% .9 of the residual honey in the wax reducing losses to less than 0.5%. In 2015, an Australian company developed an integrated tap system that extracts honey directly without opening the hive, a method adopted in more than 130 countries. Once the mature combs are collected, they are transported to extraction rooms, where they undergo a meticulous process to preserve the quality of the product. The first stage of industrial honey processing consists of uncapping, where the thin wax layer sealing the cells is removed. For this, mechanical blades or heated combs are used to eliminate the opercula without damaging the comb's contents. Subsequently, the frames are introduced into stainless steel centrifugal extractors, devices that utilize a rotational force of up to 300 revolutions per minute to separate the honey from the wax structure without altering its physical or chemical properties. These machines generate centrifugal forces equivalent to 300 kilometers per hour, separating nearly all of the residual honey. The resulting liquid is filtered through stainless steel meshes with a maximum pore size of 200 micrometers to eliminate impurities, such as wax remnants or pollen particles, ensuring a homogeneous product ready for storage. The maturation process of honey in the industry takes place in large stainless steel tanks with temperature control, where it is left to rest for between 48 and 72 hours to allow air bubbles and solid residues to settle. This step is fundamental for improving the clarity and stability of the final product. Depending on the destination market, the honey can be subjected to a slight controlled heating of up to 45 degrees Celsius, facilitating its packaging without premature crystallization. Exceeding this temperature degrades enzymes such as glucose oxidase, which is responsible for its antibacterial properties. Honey packaging is a mechanized process that ensures both the hygiene and the preservation of the product. Continuous flow automatic packaging machines, equipped with high-precision volumetric dosing pumps, fill glass or plastic jars with a nitrogen-modified atmosphere to prevent oxidation. Companies like Beeco have launched biodegradable packaging made of polylactic acid derived from corn, which reduces the carbon footprint by 70%. For export, honey is transported in isothermal containers at 18 degrees Celsius, with IoT sensors that alert to temperature fluctuations in real time. These systems operate under international food safety protocols, with production rates reaching 200 units per minute in leading plants. For specialized markets, Honey can be marketed in differentiated presentations, such as comb honey, which maintains the original wax structure, or monofloral honey, whose botanical origin is verified through quantitative pollen analysis. Quality control in the beekeeping industry is rigorous and is based on international standards that establish specific physical and chemical parameters. Specialized laboratories analyze the composition of honey through liquid chromatography and nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, determining its moisture content, free acidity, hydroxymethyl furfural, and enzymatic activity.
These tests detect adulterants such as rice or corn syrups, a problem that affects more than one-third of the honey marketed globally. Additionally, in some regions, advanced traceability systems are implemented that record the geographical origin and storage conditions of each batch. The beekeeping industry has experienced constant modernization, incorporating technological advances in hive management and honey processing. The introduction of wireless sensor networks in apiaries allows for the optimization of colony management through predictive algorithms, significantly reducing losses due to colony collapse syndrome. Specialized companies use high-sensitivity microphones to analyze the buzzing of the bees, identifying patterns associated with stress or the presence of parasitic mites. The Varroa destructor mite, originally from Asia, infects 85% of the world's hives, weakening larvae by feeding on their hemolymph. Along with neonicotinoids, pesticides that disorient the bees' nervous systems, they are responsible for 40% of their annual mortality. Programs such as the EU's APIS subsidize varroa-resistant hives and promote flower corridors in agricultural areas. Moreover, the application of computer vision techniques on packaging lines identifies defects in jars with a precision of over 99%. Globally, honey production is influenced by environmental and economic factors. Climate change, which has altered flowering patterns in key regions, and the use of neurotoxic pesticides have affected the health of bees and, consequently, the stability of production. Recent studies explore the potential of honey in space diets due to its chemical stability and high caloric value. In response to these challenges, the industry has adopted certified sustainable practices that require agrochemical free zones within an 8-kilometer radius around the hives. International honey trade has grown significantly in recent decades, with leading exporting countries exceeding 450,000 tons annually. In the pharmaceutical industry, medical manuka honey is used in burn dressings for its antibiotic and regenerative activity. Premium cosmetics incorporate freeze-dried honey in anti-aging serums, taking advantage of its antioxidants. In the food sector, Startups such as Honey Fuel develop energy gels with honey, royal jelly, and electrolytes for high-performance athletes. Market competition has led to the diversification of products, from honey with a protected designation of origin to varieties enriched with botanical extracts such as propolis or freeze-dried royal jelly. Innovations such as encapsulation in alginate spheres have allowed its integration into the food industry for baked goods and functional beverages. The evolution of beekeeping and the industrialization of honey have allowed this ancient product to continue occupying a central place in global food and the economy. The combination of traditional practices with advanced technologies has optimized production, ensuring the quality and availability of honey in international markets. With a market value exceeding $10 billion annually, the industry faces the challenge of balancing scalability with colony conservation where modern technologies enable users to adopt hives and monitor their health in real time. Research and development in this sector continue to open new possibilities for its utilization, consolidating its importance in various industries. But now a crucial question arises. Will artificial intelligence be able to decipher the latest mysteries of bees and prevent their decline? Or are we facing a challenge that even the most advanced technology will not be able to solve? The answer will define not only the future of honey, but the very balance of our ecosystems.